All right, this is grade three, module four, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're just gonna continue to incrementally get closer to that standard algorithm for finding the area of rectangles. Um, we're not quite there yet. We're still really getting to the meaning of what the dimensions or the side lengths mean and uh, how that relates to the area of the rectangle. And uh, so, for example, in this one right here, this rectangle, what we're going to be doing is we're given an incomplete array. And then students are going to be asked to finish that uh, array, sometimes explicitly, or at the very least, in their mind's eye. So they're going to say, well, these lines would continue, and then these lines would go straight down, and all of a sudden we now have five units by six units, all right? Or um, this one, they'd say, well, let's continue the dots, or the lines, I mean. And they'd say, well, let's, we can continue this one, and this one, and this one, and then we can continue here, and here, and ooh, here, and here. And so all of a sudden, we get four units and five units. And really, that's what I should have put in the other one, the units. I left off the labels, and the labels are super important. And uh, so that's what our students are going to be doing in this uh, lesson, is, which is either explicitly or in their mind's eye, they're going to be completing uh, the incomplete arrays. For example, uh, this says, min skip counts by sixes to find the total square units in the rectangle below. She says there are 36 square units. Is she correct? So she says she counts all the square units and that there's supposed to be, in her mind, 36 uh, square units. And our job is to figure out if she's correct. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here and let's use blue. And we, what we'll do is we'll finish drawing the array because the array hasn't quite been finished. And then I can see that going up and down this side length here has a, a length of six units and this side length right here has a length of six units. And so that means we know that if we were going to actually count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sure enough, skip counting would work. 18, 24, 30, 36. So min is correct. There are 36 square units in this uh, figure. So this one says, the tub in Paige's bathroom covers the tile floor as shown below. So you can see here's the bathtub, and here's the floor with all the tiles. And it says, how many square tiles are on the floor, including the tiles under the tub? All right. So what we need to do is we need to find the area of this whole rectangle rectangle right here, although it looks like a square, same thing. Well, a square is a rectangle. And then, so I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to use kind of like my mind's eye, but I'm going to count how tall this rectangle is right here. So I could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can see that this is nine, and I can't remember if it was inches or feet or miles, so I'm going to put units, nine units. And then going across, we should count, so let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it was almost a square. Uh, ten. And once again, I can't remember if it's inches or feet, so I'm just going to call it units. Nine, nine units and ten units here. 
And so how many square tiles all together does that mean there is? So we know that what that means is we're going to use multiplication. Um, so we're going to do 9 times 10 equals 90. And so the answer is there are 90 square tiles on the floor. And the last slide for this video it says um, Frank sees a book on top of his chessboard. All right, so here's the book and here's the chessboard. And it says, How many squares are covered by the book? Explain your answer. So let's do a little zooming in here. We're going to zoom in. And let's see. Well, I can kind of see that the book, and I'm going to use this. Here's the book right here. And we're being asked, how many square tiles is this book covering? All right. Well, let's count how tall this book is. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this book... This side length here has a side length of six units. And going across up here, we can see it's got a side length of one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got a side length of six units. So this side length is six. This side length is six. So what are we going to do to figure out the area of that book, the number of tiles that this book is covering up? We're going to do 6 times 6, which is 36. And so the, the book covers the book covers 36 uh, squares on the board. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 6.